What's up guys, welcome back to another live. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, if you don't know yet, Smogon has released an alpha for UU, uh, the tier right below OU, of course, if not counting BL. Um, and the team you see on your screen right now, <laughs> don't make any mistakes, this is a UU team. That's right, I said it, it's a UU team. Uh, it's a little bit of hyper offense uh, mixed with defensive Serena and uh, defensive uh, Necrozma to set up rocks. But overall, this team just shreds through the ladder. I'll just show you guys where we are right now. Um, I only just started using this team and we're already 76th. I think I played like 20, 21 games, something like that. It's really not that many and we've already gotten up here. I mean, the ladder's not too established yet. At the top is 1466. This is actually somebody from the NPL right here. Uh, we have a few people that we know. Uh, where are they? This is uh, Togavar or TTM Chris. Uh, then we have uh, Rizzy Pal somewhere around us. People, a, a lot of people from the NPL have been trying out this tier. I know Red, uh, Ethan, Redithan. Uh, this is Jolt. Uh, this is Merc right here. Uh, what else? Anyway, uh, that's uh, that's pretty much what the ladder looks like right now. It's not like I said. It's not too established. But let's get a game. Let's see what we can do with this tier. Uh, like I said, I've been doing pretty well with this team overall, and we got Rain uh, as our first uh, matchup right here. Uh, looking kind of threatening. He doesn't have a scissor though, which is nice. And yes, scissor is not mega, but regular scissor is uh, is UU, of course. Um, so I see we've all putting in a lot of work this game because it does outspeed his entire team except for Seismitone and Rain, uh, and it can definitely kill the Celebi. Uh, it can heavily damage the Raikou, can knock out the uh, Tornadus. So it's looking pretty good. I feel like he might just straight out lead with Torn. Either way, I think Necrozma is my lead of choice. Uh, as he chooses to lead with Raikou, so this is fine for me. I'm not specially defensive, but we should be able to take any hit quite well. Let's go for the Stealth Rocks. We'll see if he's uh, if he's Calm Mind. That could be an issue. Uh, but he is uh, just he does just go for Volt Switch. That doesn't look like Specs damage. Uh, I'm not going to assume what it is yet. But we do get up our Rocks. My opponent does not have Hazard Removal. Uh, which means I am going to switch out here. Actually, into Serena, because Serena has U-Turn on it, and uh, unless he U-Turns out, I also have Rapid Spin, so I can get rid of these rocks immediately if I want to, which is exactly what I'm going to do. As he goes out into his Tornadus, which is fine, uh, I can just switch out into my Necrozma on this. Uh, I gotta get in Weavile as soon as possible. He goes for a Hurricane, that's going to do a lot, I'm assuming, Life Orb. We do see the Life Orb. Uh, he does have to land another one. He could alternatively go for a U-turn or a knockoff on this turn. I think I'm just going to go for the Psychic. Try to get off as much damage as possible. He does hit our Cobra Berry. As you can see, that does nothing thanks to Prismatic Armor. And we are able to hit the Tornadus through the Confusion and knock it out. So that's a big threat gone. Weavile is looking less important now because that was the fastest thing on his team. And probably the most threatening. I couldn't really switch into a Hurricane at any given moment. So let's, uh, let's switch out into Serena on this. I feel pretty safe about it. We are leftovers, of course. We do resist his Volt Switch, so we're able to take that very nicely. And he doesn't have a good switch to this. He has three Pokemon weak to grass, so... Uh, in comes Politoed, and uh, we're just gonna go for the Trop Kick, honestly. If he has Ice Beam, it's not gonna do too much. Uh, maybe around 40. And we're gonna be able to uh, two-hit KO this Politoed, more than likely. As he does go for the Ice Beam, it does 36, so around what I said. Um, and he does not have a switch into Trop Kick at all on his team, and if he lets this go down... I mean, he has Celebi, but I just U-turn on that. Uh, if he lets this go down, then uh, he's in a very bad position. He's gonna go into Raikou. That's fine. I'm assuming the HP Ice is coming my way. I'm gonna lower his attack with another Trop Kick. As you can see, that does a good amount of damage, even though we're not invested in attack at all. Uh, Tarina has naturally high physical attack, and uh, Trop Kick is a base 70 move, which isn't too bad overall. I can pretty much sack off to Crosma here. It's not doing anything else this game. He's gonna go for a Thunder uh, in the rain, of course. He might be Scarfed, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Um... Which is kind of a problem, to be honest. That's actually a real big issue. I'm going to go back into Serena now, now that I know he's probably locked into Thunder. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go for a U-turn. As he's going to go for another th Thunder, it's going to do 25. He gets the Para. Uh, and we are able to U-turn out, luckily. Uh, meaning that I can bring in my Weavile and just Ice Shard this thing and it, it will die. So, let's do that. Uh, Serena is, unfortunately... Uh, paralyzed at this point, which means it becomes less of a check to his Seismitoad, especially if it has Ice Punch on it. It's going to probably knock us out from that range if it's an offensive variant. Uh, but Weavile is looking quite strong this game in general, so I'm not too worried. Uh, on this Seismitoad, I feel kind of safe going into... 
Uh, going into Keldeo, realistically. I was going to say Charizard, but then again, Scald could come out, or a Hydro Pump. There it is. Uh, he gets a crit right there. The rain is not down yet, so he is still faster than us, unfortunately. Uh, however, I am just going to go for Scald right here. As he goes for a Sludge Wave, not sure why. He gets another crit on the following turn. Uh, not a big deal. What I'm actually going to do is, um, I'm going to go take this as an opportunity to go into Tarina and get off a of Synthesis if possible. Uh, he's probably going to be uh, scared out of this thing. Uh, no, he just goes for Sludge Wave. I just saw it. What, what, what was I thinking? Alright. Doesn't really matter. Um, Seismitoad, what do you hit in terms of speed? 271? Let's just bring up a calculator real quick. What is 271 times 2? It's 542, which means I think it's faster than Scarf Salamence, regardless. So... That's not good times. Um, okay, so here's what we're going to do. We need to get rid of his rain as we kill his Politoed. So I got to go into Charizard, I think, uh, is my play. I weaken his uh, water move, so if he stays in, that's not good for him. Um, I'm actually going to fire off a Fire Blast right here. Uh, if I don't Mega Evolve and he stays in, though, that's kind of bad. Huh. Yeah, I think I'd rather Mega Evolve and go for the Fire Blast. As he's going to bring in Celebi. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to be able to knock this thing out right here. As uh, Celebi is going to go clean down to that Fire Blast. And now I just got to bring back in Charizard uh, and get rid of the rain, essentially. I could go for Focus Blast and kill the Politoed and then switch out, but I don't think I really want to risk that. Uh, I do have a Salamence that I can go into here. Hard. And uh, he's probably going to go for the Skull. No, he's actually going to switch out directly into his Seismitoad. Interesting. Okay, I expect him to have Ice Beam on this thing. Um, so I kind of want to switch back into Charizard, realistically. Um, hmm. Alternatively. Yeah, I don't think he goes for a Hydro Pump here. So I'm going to go into Zard. Hard. Let's see how that works out. He's going to go for the Ice Punch. Okay, cool. So we, we called that right. Um, his Seismitoad is, uh, no, well, it is still an issue, but the thing is, he can't switch into a Solar Beam, uh, after, if power is halved, if Hail, Rain, Dance, or Sandstorm. Okay, so I think we have to go for a Fire Blast here. I'm not sure if it's gonna kill, but I gotta go for it anyway, just because his Politoad's probably coming in. This we can definitely kill with a Fire Blast. Uh, as you can see right there, we do get a crit. I don't think that mattered. This is a Charizard Y. And now what we can do is we can eliminate the rain and proceed to uh, to sweep with Charizard. Now the question is, is he Z Belly Drum Azumarill? Because <laughs> so, this could be an issue. This could stop my sweep instantly. Um, yeah, that's that's definitely an issue. All right, let's go. I can't go for Solar Beam because he's just going to Belly Drum up. I'm pretty sure he's Belly Drum. Um, good news is he'll end up at 50. And I don't think he kills Salamence with an Aqua Jet in the rain. We can calc it, actually. Let me just move this over so you guys can see it. And uh, Azumarill. Azumarill, Belly Drum, uh, Aqua Jet at plus 6 in the rain to a Salamence. Let's see this Salamence. Uh, the Scarf Set isn't on here. We'll take off this HP. Uh, Aqua Jet does 75 to 89. Okay, so we should be fine. I'm going to go into Weavile here as he is going to go for the Belly Drum. Beautiful. And now basically all we have to do is hit this thing with an Ice Shard because we're faster. And now he should be in range of Earthquake. So we should be fine. Let's go into Salamence. Let's click Earthquake. He should go straight down here. This is a very powerful Earthquake, so... He's gonna go for Jet. We're gonna live on one, okay? Wow. <laughs> that was uh, that was actually pretty big. And uh, he's gonna go on into Seismitoad. He can't risk not attacking here. He has to go for the Ice Punch. There we go. And now we bring in our Charizard. We get back up our Sun, and we go for a Solar Beam and knock out the Seismitoad. So that is gonna be game one to us. Let's move on to the next game. Very good on my opponent's part. Uh, I don't know why that Aqua Jet did so much. Uh, adamant, huge power. I calced everything correctly. I really don't know what what the problem was there. Adamant. Oh, Intimidate. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, it's uh, 86 to 101. So he actually got a pretty high roll, uh, but it was our only play anyway at that point. I knew that Azumarill was going to be an issue as soon as I knocked out the, the Politoed. That was uh, very scary. Uh, I could have doubled on the Politoed into Weavile and gone for a knockoff, but then he could just bring in his Azumarill anyway. 
so it didn't accomplish much. Uh, there's another Tsarina on the opposing end. Uh, Xplot is actually seeing a lot of play for some reason. I'm not sure why, but I mean, it is a very good breaker in general. Uh, I think es essentially what I need to do is get up rocks this game because of the Thunderous and the uh, the Dragonite. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if I want to do that right away though. I think my better lead is probably... Um, I want to say Charizard. Because I can switch... I can switch Serena into Keldeo. And I can also switch Serena in kind of comfortably... Uh, well, I can switch uh, Necrozma into... Um, into Thunderous reliably. Okay, so let's lead off with Charizard here. As he decides to lead off with x which is amazing. I don't know if he's Scarfed. Either way, I'm going for Fire Blast turn one. We'll find out if he's Scarfed. Uh, as he is not, and he is going straight down to that Fire Blast. So goodbye, x -Plowed. Beautiful. Huge threat gone. Don't have to worry about checking that thing. And my opponent's going to forfeit on... Okay, on turn one. Uh, I guess he didn't expect the Charizard Y. Um, 1303. So where are we now? Let's... Uh, you know, I, you guys know I like to do this. Uh, UU Alpha... 1303 so we're up to 38th not bad we just beat uh, we just passed the guy we beat in game one so that's pretty nice um, let's go to the next game and we are 11 minutes deep I'll try to keep this to about 20 minutes I say that every single episode and every time I say that it ends up being like 30 minutes or 35 minutes long I should stop cursing myself with that <laughs> seriously but uh, no this team is very offensive very scary to deal with uh, it's got crazy breakers in Weavile and uh, Charizard Y. Uh, Chansey doesn't exist in this tier. Blissey does, but Blissey gets obliterated by both Keldeo and uh, and Weavile because it's not carrying any Violite and its, special, its physical defense is uh, dismal. Uh, we got a very similar team to ours, actually. We have a Keldeo, a Weavile, and a Charizard. Probably a Charizard Y. But my opponent is actually very weak to Weavile himself. Uh, other than the Keldeo, which I have a decent check to in Serena. It's physically defensive, so it can take Secret Swords, even Specs. Uh, I like I like leading off with Necrozma here, just because it gets up rocks. Uh, I have a spinner. I don't have to worry about uh, getting rid of my own rocks later, so that's nice. Problem is, this team doesn't switch in very well to rocks, so you gotta get off the spin. Uh, leads off with Keldeo. Not sure what it's gonna do exactly. I don't know if it just wants to attack me. I'm gonna go for Stealth Rocks regardless. Get him up as early as possible. Uh, this is probably very scary for him because it is uh, Necrozma, obviously. Uh, it's a psychic type, so it checks his Keldeo, which is his best Pokemon against my team. Now, he brings in Weavile, also very scary. Don't really want to stay in here. Gonna go into Keldeo. I don't care if I lose my specs. It's fine. I don't really need them this game. Uh, as now, I'm just gonna go for an Icy Wind, trying to catch the uh, Latias on the Switch, essentially. And uh, whatever else comes in takes a decent hit and also gets its speed lowered. So, uh, there's the Icy Wind. I like the new animation for Icy Wind. It's very nice. Uh, I could go into Weavile here, I don't really want to risk the uh, Draco Meteor, so what I'm going to do is just switch back out into Necrozma. The knockoff did quite a bit, um, 40%, is that actually banded? Hold on a second, Weavile to Keldeo, I'm not sure, I've forgotten my old OU calcs. Yeah, for him to do that much, he has to be choice banded, I think. Uh, let's see, I think it's a low roll on choice band. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Good to know. He's going to go for Draco Meteor. He's going to lower out his own special attack, which is awesome. And what I'm actually going to do here instead of Morning Sunning is going for a Toxic because I want to wear down this Latias as quickly as possible. And now we are going to go for the Stealth Rocks right here. Uh, actually, I'm going to go for Morning Sun on this turn because if he wants to switch in his Weavile, I can take the knockoff. He actually chooses instead to go into Charizard, which is a very, very big threat to me. Uh, I don't really have anything to check it properly. So, uh, I might have to let Necrozma go down here, as valuable as rocks are. Uh, actually, I think Salamence is a fine switch. Yeah, Salamence should be okay, because we are Scarfed, even if he's, uh, he can't be Charizard X, because this is, uh, UU. Uh, he's gonna go for Fire Blast, it's gonna do upwards of, uh, two-thirds of my health. Uh, very scary amount of damage right there. Uh, but I can pretty much just fire off an Outrage for free if I choose to, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. I don't know if he's gonna see that coming, if he wants to risk the speed tie on an Onscarf variant. Uh, Swampert's a pretty good switch for him. It does get up rocks as well. There's the Swampert. How well is it going to take this? 40%, so very well, obviously, as you guys can see. Uh, I'm just going to go for another Outrage here because I don't have a choice. And uh, he's going to get up as rocks, uh, almost guaranteed. But if we don't get the two-turn confusion, we do get a kill on the following turn. Uh, unless he wants to risk his Keldeo getting crit, so... So let's see, we do do 43% to this. We do get the confusion, unfortunately. There are the Stealth Rocks. And uh, I'm going to risk it. I'm gonna, just going to go for another Outrage. Uh, because if he stays in, I get off a spin with Serena anyway. So it's not too bad. 
Uh, as we do hit ourselves in confusion, he's going to go for the Ice Beam. Very nice on his part. I'm going to go out into Serena, which potentially outspeeds him, so he has to keep that in mind. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Rapid Spin here. Uh, Charizard Y, of course, always being a very good switch in for him. Uh, but his son is about to fade if he does that, so that's not too bad. Uh, we'll just go for the spin right here, force out his Swampert with the potential of a Grass Attack. And, uh, yeah, let's do that. I can't remember if Serena gets... Um, if it gets Rock Slide or not, I don't think it does. We can check that out really quickly, actually. I just want to see that for future reference. Potential Scarf variants. Um, to deal with Zard Y. No, it doesn't. Okay. Good to know. Um, we are physically defensive. I'm pretty sure I can take this. Hold on. Serena. We know he's banded, right? So, Icicle Crash to a max HP, max Fizz Def. Bold. 97 max, not something I really want to play around with. Uh, let's actually go into... Huh. I don't want to switch hard into Necrozma because a, a knockoff could be coming my way. Uh, Icicle Crash does 2-hit KO Keldeo at this point, though, because of his uh, choice band. So I gotta be very careful about when I switch that in. I think Necrozma is the better switch overall. As he is going to go for a knockoff, we do have the Cold Berberry, however, we are able to take that. And now I can switch into Keldeo quite comfortably because um, he, uh, he'll he probably just click knockoff again. There it is. And we are able to eat that up. It does 27%. Uh, uh, now again, I could go for the Icy Wind. Uh, I think overall that is always my best play because either way I lower this Weavile speed. So let's do that. I can't see my, myself winning this game now though. It's going to be very, very difficult. Uh, I need rocks up to do that, and I don't have an opportunity to get them up unless his Latias comes in right now. So, yeah, that's going to be an issue. Uh, he's going to switch out into Swampert, which is fine, of course. We are going to be able to knock this thing out with the following Scald, uh, being Stab and all. And uh, I'm definitely not going for Icy Wind again. I, I would like to predict the, the Latias, but at the same time, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, he is going to go out into Latias. He does have... Uh, he is Toxic, so... I don't know if he's max speed, but I don't think he would risk going for a Psy Shock here in reality. I think his best play is to Draco to catch Weavile or Necrozma, which will allow me to get up my rocks after. So I'm just going to go for Scald. He is going to go for Draco Meteor. Beautiful. He does go down, though. That is an issue. I didn't want that to happen. All right, so Weavile checks four out of five because we are of course life orb so i expect him to go into keldia but if i go into serena i lose a pokemon if he goes into weavile that is so i'm not sure about this play yeah i'm gonna go with my gut i'm gonna go into serena he goes into weavile all right that's fine uh, i'm assuming he's just going to knock off here so i'm actually going to go for the um, for the synthesis, knockoff should always be his play. Yeah, there it is. Beautiful. Okay, so now he's choice banded into it, which means we get off a free U-turn right here uh, on whatever wants to come in. If it's Zard Y, we get to capitalize on it with Weavile, which is nice. Beautiful. That is exactly what's going to happen. And we can just go straight into our Weavile here. Threaten him out. Uh, I'm tempted to go for a knockoff because the Keldeo is still around. However, Serena is always a decent switch, especially in the sun. So let's go for an Icicle Crash right here. I don't care if Keldeo comes in, it's fine. Uh, at this point, what I would do is sack off Swampert. It does nothing else this game. If I'm my, if I'm my opponent, that's my play. But uh, I'm glad I'm glad we lost our item with Serena. As stupid as that sounds, uh, I'm glad that he can't just spam Knock Off and win now. So I need to keep Weavile alive. Um, even though I'm going for Icicle Crash right here, I'm pretty sure it kills Zard Y. So that's why I'm clicking it. It's a life orb. So he does sack Swampert. So he makes his best play. Very good. And uh, I'm expecting Keldeo to come in here. However, Keldeo is in the sun. Meaning that. Meaning that if he goes for any attack right now. Minus specs. Necrozma should be able to eat it. Huh. I'm not sure how I feel about this play. Um, I think Serena's the better option regardless. 
uh, as he does double out into his Zard Y, so great play on my opponent's part, knowing that I can't possibly stay in. Uh, he's probably just going to go for the Fire Blast now, more than likely. I can't really switch my own Zard in, it's not even Mega Evolved yet, uh, so I have to go for a U-turn and hope he misses, which he does not, so Serena is down, unfortunately. Uh, however, we can now go out into Weavile again, uh, and I think I just click... I'm going to click Knock Off because I want to catch the Keldeo. I think that's my only play at this point. And if he stays in, then I lose. It's fine. We'll take the loss. How high is this guy on the ladder? Clown around. I don't see him up here. He must not be too far, though. Does make a play. He stays in with Charizard, as expected. Not really anything I can do about that. And he's going to get off the Fire Blast right there. I wonder if I can stall him out with Necrozma. I wonder. Let's, um, let's go into Necrozma. And we're going to go for a Morning Sun right here. Because I have Toxic for everything else. I already lost my item, so Weavile can't hit me as hard. It can hit me for over half, I'm pretty sure, but... Uh, maybe not even. Maybe not even. I'm not sure, though. We are almost max defense, 248. He's going to go straight out into Keldeo, which is interesting. Uh, I'm going to... Go for the Stealth Rocks now. As he goes for Hydro Pump, that does over half. So, which means that he is most definitely specs so i have to hope for a miss right here we're gonna go for morning sun he does connect another hydro pump and that is pretty much gonna be gg actually you know what i'm going to try to stall out his hydro pumps by going for roost let's see if we can do that uh he's gonna go for another hydro that's gonna do 89 percent uh if he misses one here we should be okay um let's see he connects all four hydro pumps okay that's fine i mean it doesn't ever happen to me but i guess uh Actually, it happened to me in one game. <laughs> Very recently, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. It's all good. We're at 21 minutes. I'm going to get one more, as I said before. Um, it's always going to end up being 30. Uh, but I do want to get another win for you guys with this team. He had, a, like I said, a very similar team to mine, which actually my team has a hard time handling. So uh, hopefully we run into a couple more of those uh, strange teams on the ladder uh, that are still using all UU Pokemon, like old OU, uh, old UU, excuse me, from Gen 6. Yeah, let's see. Um, okay, so this guy's using all Gen 7 Pokemon. Great. Um, I just have to remember what everything does. <laughs> okay. We should be fine. Uh, I don't want to get Spirit Shackled turn 1. Uh, and I think that his Muck is more than likely a lead for him. So I'm going to lead off with Keldeo here. Because he does lead with Lycanroc, which is technically faster than me. However... Um, Scald is gonna hurt something. It's a spec Scald. He goes for Stealth Rocks. He's probably Sash, yeah. Uh, do we get the burn? We do. Okay, so we're able to knock out Lycanroc, which is awesome. Uh, I'm assuming that his switch here will be... Uh, he doesn't know what I am yet. If I'm Scarfed or if I'm just Leftovers. He has no idea. He goes into Como, though, regardless, which is a good play. I don't know if he's Special or Physical, though. So I can't really play around with this right here. I think I have to go directly into Necrozma and sacrifice getting rocks up this game as he goes for the Autotomize, okay? Um, which is kind of scary, but at the same time, like, how hard can this thing actually hit me? I'm gonna go for Stealth Rocks. Because if he doesn't have an attack boost... Okay, he has Clanging Scales, which is a dragon move. He's also Life Orb, which is great to know. Uh, he's also faster than my entire team right now, which is very scary. Uh, except for maybe Salamence. Let's see, hold on. Uh, 295 times 2. No, you're still faster. Okay. Alright, so you're pretty strong right now. I didn't expect that big of a hit. We're gonna go for, uh, Psychic. We're gonna let Necrozma go down here. I probably should've just Psychic'd. Um, Charizard takes too much. I think Serena can take the hit, though. And get off a, uh, a Rapid Spin. This is probably my best play. Because his Rocker is gone. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go for a Rapid Spin. He shouldn't be able to knock me out. I have decent spadef. Goes for poison jab. We're, we're fizz death. We take that no problem. And in fact, we can even go for a synthesis and wear him down to uh, life orb as a result, which is amazing because then he'll be in range of ice shard and nothing on his team appreciates Weavile at all. He goes for clanging scales. Good play on his part. His defense is extremely lowered right now, which means that Weavile is able to pick this off with ease. So we are just going to go for the ice shard right here doesn't have any form of priority, at least he shouldn't. And he's going to go straight down to that. 
Yep, beautiful. Okay, so the threat is gone. We only had to sack our two walls to get rid of it. But his rocks are also gone, which means my entire team is a threat now to him. Uh, especially Charizard Y. Charizard Y just looking like it can just sweep up the game at this point. Between Solar Beam and Fire Blast. Uh, Muck is going to come in. Not sure why this was his play of choice. Galissapod looked like a better play. But... Um, I do want to keep Weavile. I think Keldeo is less of an asset just because of Decidueye. So he's going to go for a Poison Jab. He is going to get the Poison thanks to the Poison Touch, of course. And uh, I'm not even playing games. I'm just going for Icy Wind because Decidueye should be his switch in. But instead, he decides to stay in with Muck, which is fine as well. He goes for a knockoff, which is cool because that opens up the possibility for me to go for a Hydro Pump here, uh, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I do lose my specs in the process, but we won't die to the next round of Poison because it's just a regular Poison. Uh, of course, and I'm pretty sure Hydro's not going to take him out from here uh, without the specs. Nah, he seems to be AV. I think he is AV. Um, how is Earthquake do? Not too bad. Uh, except for that uh, Mudsdale. That's the issue. Okay, good news is I don't think he takes a an Icicle Crash from Weavile. So I'm going to go out into that, and hopefully we can connect. That would be awesome uh, if we could. And uh, he doesn't have a switch into this. Uh, he does just go for the Shadow Sneak. Doesn't get the Poison Touch, luckily. And we are able to knock out the Muck. Beautiful. I expect Galissapod to come in here. Most definitely. And uh, Ice... Icicle Crash Spam should win the game, in theory. Depends on what this Galissapod is. Let's just go into... Um, into Salamence, because we resist both stabs. And Salamence doesn't do much else this game. He is... It does seem to be banded. Uh, I could calc that, actually. Salamence with no investment. No Intimidate either, because we made that mistake before. Versus Galissapod. If he's max attack. Uh, adamant. Liquidation. Uh, how much is he doing to us? 40 to 47. Okay, so he's not even that offensive. Huh. Interesting. I'm going to go for the Outrage. And we are going to not be able to knock out this Galissapod, but we do get it. its emergency exit, which is awesome. However, there's a little bit of a problem, and its name is Mudsdale. <laughs> it's uh, it's going to get sta a stamina boost from me going for Outrage. Uh, and I don't have a choice but to go for Outrage. So I may have to sack off my Salamence as a result. Good thing is that his uh, Galissapod is in range of Ice Shard. So all I need to do is knock out this Mudsdale with Garchomp. That actually did a lot. Wow. Okay, uh, there's the rock slide that does take us out. Uh, I don't expect him to be scarfed, and even if he is, I don't think he outspeeds us. I can calc it 185 times 1.5. No, it does not. Beautiful, so we can go into Zard pretty freely and fire off a solar beam. Uh, Galissapod will go down, and Decidueye risks a fire blast on the following turn. So there is not much he can do right here. With the sun up as well, we should be able to take an Aqua Jet from his Galissapod, no problem. And uh, I don't even have to to worry about that. Now, both the moves that I will be using to kill this Decidueye right now are not very accurate. <laughs> so, well, they're, they're pretty accurate, but they're not 100% accurate. So I'm kind of worried. Okay, he's scarfed sh Spirit Shackle. And we're able to knock out Decidueye right there. Beautiful. And now his Galissapod doesn't really matter because uh, it, it's forced to go for an Aqua Jet on this turn. I like Scarf Decidueye, that's kind of cool. It's forced to go for an Aqua Gen on this turn if it has it. Uh, I'm not even going to take any risks. I'm just going to go for Solar Beam. It will be able to knock him out from here. His Aqua Jet doesn't even do the job from there. And uh, down goes Galissapod. So that is going to be another win for us. We are at 28 minutes. So I'm going to end it there, guys. Uh, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to use the team uh, as well, I'm going to be linking a pace bin in the description down below, as usual. And uh, just a little side note, if you guys did make it far this far into the video, I did want to mention this at the beginning, but I forgot. Um... The review series that is currently ongoing on the channel, uh, it's not on pause or anything, uh, it is still going on, it's just I wanted an episode out today, however, uh, as you know, I am trying to get different people on those episodes, we had Count Riario on for the last segment of three, uh, now we're trying to get Dom, our good friend Dom, or Dom's Game Room, uh, and uh, he's a little bit swamped with uh, school stuff right now so it was kind of difficult to find a time that both worked for us uh, so we're going to be rescheduling it and uh, you will be getting the episode tomorrow uh, normally what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like Mondays 
uh, Review Plus Live, Tuesday, just live. Wednesday, Review Plus Live, Thursday, just live. And then Friday will be the Review uh, Clash, and then the live... Um, I don't know, well, we can pair that with a live. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to try to get a live out every day anyway, especially now that we have two tiers that I can work with. So that's kind of nice. But uh, the, the point of this is that um, essentially it's going to be pushed back just for this week. Uh, after that, it will be uh, ongoing, and I might even try to get it out like a little bit quicker because I don't want to be dragging this on too long. There aren't too many fully evolved Pokemon to be covering in the uh, draft review videos, so I don't think it should take that long. Uh, we can cover two Pokemon, uh, two to three to four even, maybe a week, uh, and we should be done in about six to seven weeks at most hopefully before every league starts starting up i know the npl started up already but yeah anyway uh, again guys if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like down below and i'll catch you guys later ciao